We're not gonna actually be building a connection that's gonna come a little bit later, but you would go here, add the connection widget, and the connection widget is used for tons of different cool uh, purposes, essentially, in every case, getting data from Mobile Monkey out into another platform. So for example, you could send email addresses of leads collected through MobileMonkey chatbots into your email service provider to trigger a workflow. You could send contact details like first name, last name, location, gender, email, phone number into your CRM like HubSpot, Salesforce, Zoho, or whatever you're using. You could send all that information into a Google Sheet if you have other systems that are pulling information from a Google Sheet or you guys um, or your business sort of evaluates new leads generated each day compared to marketing spend, let's say, through Google Sheets. A lot of businesses, a lot of our clients do that so you could connect to Google Sheets. You could send webinar registrants through connections into uh, go to meeting or go to webinar or webinar jam or Zoom or whatever it may be that you're using. So there's a lot of different ways you could connect and all that's gonna be done through Zapier or Zapier depending on how you pronounce it. I'm not even sure. We use Zapier a ton and it's all gonna be configured through MobileMonkey connections. So the connections um, setup lives over here and once you actually build your connections and you add new connections and you, and you, let me, you know, add a new connection, I'll just show you what this a webhook connection looks like. I'm gonna show you how to set all this stuff up, how to get the URL from Zapier, how to configure it to do exactly what you want it to do. Um, those examples that I just gave you will we'll actually run through setting up webhooks and setting up those connections for a few of those examples so you know how to do it clearly. Once you have that connection and it's named and it's active, then back in your pages, you could add a connection, go back to our connection page, that you have, um, you could add a connection that you actually have configured through the connections panel. And what that will do is once the chat visitor or the user gets to that stage, let's say you add this connection after a form widget, it will take that information that's been collected and do with it as you want it to do through that connection. So you would let's say you're signing people up for a webinar. So you would have a form, you would ask people their name, you might ask them what their title is, their email address, what the company name is. You'll take that information through Zapier, then you'll have a connection widget. That connection widget will, will be tied to the connection that you build in the connection, um, in the connection pane, and it will do with it as you wish. And you could have multiple connections per chatbot. So you could potentially, oh, another cool thing is you could, you could trigger a, a, a text message to go out to a specific sales rep when a user requests a callback, right? So that's a really cool thing as well. So, all this stuff is very flexible, and that's what you would use connect connection widgets for. The, the most important thing to remember is that if you want this connection to fire, you have to actually not only create the connection, but also add the connection widget on the chatbot page that you want it to fire on.